Well, welcome back to my channel, Mispronounce Adventures, and this episode I've come up with the most overly complicated yet overly simplified solution to a problem I have. The problem I have is if I'm lying in bed, I can't lock the doors of my van. If I use the key throbs for the van for locking the doors, I always find I put the alarm on. It doesn't seem to matter if I press it once or press it twice, I always seem to put the, the alarm on, and then any movement um, ends up setting the alarm off. I'm sure you can turn it off some way, I just can't figure it out. Additionally, I don't want to be having the keys on me, potentially if I've had a few beers and I'm in the back of the van having a bed, I don't want to be seen having the keys on me. So I need to come up with a different solution. So what I normally do is I have to go walk through into the cab and reach over and press the lock button on the door panel. And that works great. However, if I'm in bed, no one really wants to see this. So I'm going to go for the most overly simplified, yet overly complicated solution for this. Turns out, not an original idea, I found out Urban Van Life has also done this. But I'm going to use something called a switch bot. So what is a switch bot? Well this is a switch bot, it's a tiny little box, which has a little arm which goes boop. And you can control it with your phone. However, I don't want to really control it with my phone, I want to can be able to control it from my sort of little control panel near my bed. So I bought a little switch bot remote as well. So all being well, I hit that button and this goes boop. Just point out, this is not a sponsored video. Um, I wanted to buy these. If you want to buy these, you can find them on my Amazon store and I get an affiliate. Although if you want to buy them cheaper, if you go on the actual switch bot website, sign up to the newsletter, then you can get like 30, 66% off this from £30 down to £9. So here's the plan. Normally I would reach in and press this button here. I don't want to put the unit there, so, but I don't have any passengers. So I'm going to use this button here. Some vans will have a cent central one, but this isn't a button, this is just a notification on the transit. And since I don't have passengers, I'm going to mount my little robot there to click the button. However, just to point out, it will only lock the van, it won't unlock the van. However, I don't need to unlock the van because you just open the doors otherwise. So I only want to lock the van. Right, let's open these up. So, switch box, I went for the one in black. It's just this little tiny unit with a little arm which comes out and a little 3M sticky pad. These units, just for anyone else for different users, you can attach these little clips. So also it could pull and push a button or pull a button back out. For what I want, I just want it to depress. And because I didn't want to have to use the app and I just wanted to be able to use a little remote control, I can have this little remote control mounted on the wall, so I can press that and that will tick. Since my channel is normally all about electrics, um, I could have probably found, taken apart the door card, found the little momentary switch, added a second momentary switch, ran wires all the way around the van to the very back of the van, and then put a little momentary switch there, which would have done the same thing by using the same circuit. However, one, it's a pain in the ass to now run cable all the way through the van. And playing with the van's original wiring loom does seem a bit of extra work. Um, a bit more complicated. This I see is a overly complicated because I'm using two random different units with um, which obviously needs to be set up with an app. But more or less, I'm solving the difficult the solution of just physically pressing the button. So let's have a play and see if I can set one of these up. So I've downloaded the app, which I want to point out is um, 702 megabytes for an app that after I set this up, I don't need anyway. That's a ridiculous size of an app. Um, I'm just running it on the iPad at the minute because I use the iPhone for recording. Okay, so future editing, Alex. Really boring showing footage of the app getting set up. More or less, the app just worked. Um, opened it up on the iPad. It saw both of the units via Bluetooth. I paired with them. Things that will bring up, you can lock the pairing. So after you pair it with your device, you can then type a password in so no one can connect to it remotely. Um, bits I also didn't say were you need, you don't need the app necessarily after it's set up. If you buy the remote, uh, you can then pair it with the switch bot and there's no longer a need for the app. Or you could not have the remote and just use the app by itself. Uh, and the other option is you can buy their hub for their whole sort of ecosystem. And that means you can connect that hub to the internet so you could access and use the app remotely away from the van. And you can also start using an Amazon Alexa or a Google Nest 
and do all your voice commands. Also, those two little units have got little batteries inside which the user can replace. Um, I'm presuming because they're going to be pretty low power things that the lifespan is probably pretty long. Right. Done. So now we've got this sorted so we can go. This is such an overly simplified but stupid idea. So I'm going to attach it here. Um, I did originally want to attach it somewhere like there because it looks a little bit neater, but that's not a flat surface. The only flat surface is here, which does look like it's blocking the handle, but I guess I'll move the handle. So I guess I'm going to stick it on there. Although I'm going to move this camera because I need to make sure I get this lined up with that button. Well, first problem, it's a, uh, not quite strong enough to push down the button so it comes with these little pull tabs um because you can attach it so you can bring a switch back up again i'm just going to use it as like a spacer right moment of truth time yay such a stupid solution The real test is if I'm gonna, I'm gonna mount it here, is if it still works from this distance. I think the only way we're gonna be better here is if we can hear the locks go. Yay! Well, that's a success. So in the app, I've also locked the switch bot so no one else can access my switch bot because it's got a unique password attached to it. Um, and because of the way the transit set up the button, there's separate buttons for unlock and lock of the van so that it can only lock the van. It can't unlock the van. So no one can unlock the van remotely, which is good. And then this gets mounted uh, on the wall. That's pretty much gonna end this episode. A short little episode, me making something simple, overly complicated, and it sort of being a very simple solution. Yeah, if you want to buy one of those, you can find it on the uh, on my Amazon um, affiliate store. Though, if you want it cheaper, just go directly to the SwitchBot website and sign up to their newsletter and you get a discount off buying the SwitchBot and a remote. Um, for me, it works and now I don't have to risk getting out of bed and exposing myself to a car park. Um, whilst getting into the cab, I have to press the buttons. So, once again, thank you very much for joining me. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.